Hey everyone, Nilda here from I Love Doing All Things Crafty and welcome back to my channel. Today I have the suitcase retirement card to share with you featuring this free suitcase silhouette file that I'm giving away on my blog. So for any of you interested in this file, you will find this in my freebie section of the blog. I'll have a direct link to that in the video description below. So recently a friend and co-worker of mine retired and another colleague of ours asked me if I would make her a suitcase card because she loves to travel. Years ago I had made a suitcase treat box for my cousin's little guy's birthday and I knew exactly what to do to create this file. I will also leave a link to the treat box file in the video description below. So I hope you guys enjoy this free file and if you do create anything with it either tag me on Instagram or Facebook. I just really love to see what others create with it and I think this would be perfect for scrapbooking, card making, whatever, tag. There's so many uses for it so enjoy. So for now I'm just going to go ahead and add my process video and you can watch me piece it all together. So as you can see here I've gone ahead and cut out all my pieces for the suitcase file. I'm just taking a little glue and piecing it all together. To create the belt portion of the suitcase, just simply grab the belt buckle and slide it through the belt and stop at the first hole. Pop the little clip through the first hole and then I just add a little bit of glue to the back side to keep the buckle in place. And here I'll do it all over again. So now I'm just going to add some glue to each corner of the suitcase where I will add the corner pieces. As you can see for the tag, there's only two pieces, so it's pretty simple to put together. To add some dimension to the flat file, I'm just gonna add some foam tape to pop up the belts. Here I'm just going to create a loop for my tag using some really thin gauged wire. I'm just going to use some um, pliers to create a little loop and use a pen to form it around in a circle. And since it's really thin gauged wire, I'm going to cut it with scissors and attach it to the suitcase. So as you can see, it took me a little while to get the ring just how I wanted it. Um, to make things easier, you could probably just get away with using some twine. I just wanted the look of a uh, ring. Um, if you had a piece of uh, jewelry, like a link, you could probably use that as well. So I'm just going to open up the wire in the back and secure it with a little piece of tape so that that tag doesn't move around now. And at this point I thought it'd be cute to add my friend's initials to the front of the tag. Now I'm ready for my card base and front panel. This card base measures um, six and a half by four and a half inches. 
And I'm going to use this old new stamp set to create my sentiment on the front of the card. And here I'm using a DIY grid acetate sheet that I created using a sharpie and a ruler. Super simple and easy to make. It just helps me with the lining on top of a project. And this card's almost complete. I'm just gonna stamp the inside of the card with the congratulations and that's pretty much it for the card. So I hope you've enjoyed this process video and the suitcase file comes in handy for your future projects. If you liked this video today, please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't yet, subscribe. Thanks for watching everybody. Till next time, bye.